Does that work? Can you hear like a thump, thump, thump? I'm gonna have to check that out. What is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is October. I almost said July. October 19th. We're a few days ahead of the second set of products that are supposed to be coming out for celebrations. Hopefully you're enjoying celebrations. Uh, we're going to go over a lot of data today, a lot of figures involving Fusion Strike, which is the new set that comes out, the new main series set that comes out in less than a month. We're only, uh, what, four weeks away? So November 12th is when Fusion Strike comes out because we finally got allocation numbers, guys. Finally. It seems like these allocation numbers are coming later and later, but we finally got numbers for Fusion Strike, and I want to go over these numbers because a lot of people have gone out there and said hey fusion strike is short printed i think rudy from alpha investments originally released this information uh talking about how it was short printed and doesn't seem like there's going to be as many booster boxes available uh he is correct but i'm going to go over exactly how many less is going to be available from at least our perspective uh as an lgs or as a storefront working with distributors and then we also got uh allocations for the pokeball tins that come out at the beginning of december uh the hoopa and dragonite boxes which come out i think in the middle of november as well and then the eevee boxes that everybody is so excited about uh, with the alternate art Flareon, the alternate art Jolteon, and the alternate art Vaporeon. So we're going to go over allocation numbers for that as well. Before we begin, I do want to just throw out a disclaimer. Uh, remind everybody that I do own a storefront. It is completely online with Papa Blast Toys called The Coliseum, uh, pkmncoliseum.com. The link is in the description below. I'm not going to pump anything as far as products or anything like that that you should be buying. I want you to let. I wanted to let you know that this information that I'm going to give you is purely opinionated. It is just my best guess and stats and figures. So that way you can make your best educated guess. I am not here to deliver and incite any FOMO or anything like that. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt. I just want to give you the information because I think like I think you need it I think you deserve it and I think you should take that information in this crazy market and then do what you think is best because it's your money it's your collection and ultimately you're the one who should be making the decision when it comes to this stuff also we do have three releases that are coming out this Friday the collector's chest the uh, deluxe figure collection and the ultra premium collection I did put this news on YouTube a few days ago just as a post uh, but this collector's chest right here this has been delayed for those of you who don't know in a lot of different markets now one thing that I want you guys to remember is that LGS is in storefronts work differently than retail stores. So if you pre-ordered from GameStop or you pre-ordered from Pokemon Center directly, you might still be getting this. However, there is going to be many, many less available upon release than what is originally anticipated. These aren't coming out in our, st our shop. We won't be getting these until end of November. And a lot of other storefronts aren't going to be getting them as well. So if you ordered somewhere online like Game Nerds, Troll and Toad, wherever else, an online LGS, let's say, uh, I would check with them and see if they're still even getting theirs in they might not be getting them until november why is that important it's important because that means that a lot of people are probably going to be pricing these extremely high right out of the gates and talking about how they're limited they are a limited product however there is going to be much fewer available this coming weekend than what was originally anticipated so um yeah, do use that information for what you would like. Also, if you do like the information that I'm sharing, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Leave a comment, share the video because that goes a long way. Sharing the fan clan or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then most importantly, subscribe. We do have a contest going on right now where we are in week two. Uh, we're giving away eight weeks of items from Celebration. So right now we're giving away a Dragapult box, a Charizard box, and a Sylveon box from Celebrations. We're in week two right now, so you have to go back, watch the video that was posted on Friday where I go over pull rate data from Celebrations um, to enter to win the contest. All you have to do is just like and comment on the video and then make sure you subscribe, and that's it. You're entered. We'll draw a winner this upcoming Friday, and then that will start week three. So plenty of weeks left to go. I've gotten all of that out of the way, and that only took four minutes, so now we can start getting into data. Uh, like I said earlier, <sighs> Fusion Strike is going to be limited, and I want to go over what that exactly means, and then Sheet 2 and Sheet 3 at the bottom. You can't see me pointing at my computer. I don't know why you're not here with me, uh, but I am pointing at Sheet 2 and Sheet 3 at the bottom here. Uh, I actually have uh, images that were leaked online. If you already saw those from the ETB booklet, I'm going to cover that right after we go over these numbers, so that way you can see some of the cards. Some of them look really, really cool uh, that are coming out, but those are spoilers. If you don't want to see uh, the ETB leaks, obviously you want to jump off uh, prior to... Uh, me talking about that so after i go over the data so fusion strike comes out on november 12th uh this is actually 
Um, not as bad as I thought it was going to be when I looked over the numbers. So we're going to start off with booster boxes. There are going to be three waves again. So wave one is coming out, obviously, November 12th. Wave two is supposed to come out sometime at the end of December. Wave three is supposed to come out sometime at the end of January. Now, we all know how well waves have been working. Like, we hit Battle Styles wave two as kind of a little bit late, but not super late. And then after that, we haven't gotten a second wave of anything or a third wave of anything. We were supposed to get a third wave of Battle Styles. That hasn't come out yet. Uh, I am going to hopefully have a video on Thursday that's going to go over exactly how limited the Ultra Premium Collection is, as well as give you an update on Wave 2 and Wave 3 of these specific products. Once I get certain answers, I have a lot of questions out there hoping to compile that information, uh, but don't hold me to that because I have to wait for responses. So we'll see how that goes. But booster boxes are not nearly as bad as I thought they were going to be, and the great thing is everything else is not affected whatsoever. Uh, so booster boxes, we are getting 7% less in Wave 1 than when we did compared to Evolving Sky. So I took all these numbers and compared them to Evolving Skies. The good thing is, is that at least specifically for us, for our storefront, these numbers are much, much closer and even a little bit better than what they were for Chilling Rain, even better than what they were for Battle Styles. So Battle Styles went higher and then Chilling Rain, we got more of Chilling Rain than we did of Battle Styles. Evolving Skies, we got the most of and now we're starting to backtrack a little bit. So is this short printed compared to Evolving Skies? Yes, it looks like it is, but at least in our case, in our specific case, it is printed closer to what we saw for Chilling Rain and Battle Styles. So we're getting 7% less in wave one. Wave two is a significant amount less of booster boxes. So we're getting uh, over, we're getting triple the amount of, uh, actually quadruple, we're getting quadruple the amount of booster boxes in wave one as we are in wave two. And that is 10% less than what we were supposed to get in wave two of Evolving Skies. Wave three is actually a dip of 18% compared to what we were getting in Evolving Skies. Overall, we're getting 10% less booster boxes than what we did for Evolving Skies. And we've talked about theories behind this a lot over the past several weeks and I'm going to stick to my theory that I think Pokemon is just producing less booster boxes so that way they can keep up on production of all these other ancillary products and provide more to big box stores and more to retail locations and more to marketing companies. We saw firsthand a ton of photos that leaked out and a ton of photos that people took of all the celebrations products that were there opening weekend if you got in the doors right away in a lot of different areas where they brought um, shelving units out at targets and rolled them out in front of the register so that way people had plenty of opportunity to grab some of these ETBs or collection boxes. I think Pokemon has really, really uh, kind of hankered down on these ancillary products and that's what they're focusing on. So it makes sense to me that these booster box numbers are less. And I think this number might continue to decrease a little bit as we move into next year, but we'll see how that goes. Overall, 10% less. It would be a lot nicer if they continued to get, like if they were able to get rid of these waves, because right now they're just, they're not working. Like delays are just constantly happening and there's just not enough booster boxes out there. Everybody's looking for booster boxes. The only booster box that's available for below MSRP is that Battle Styles booster box. Everything else is higher and we have no idea when these second and third waves are supposed to be coming. Uh, elite Trainer boxes, it's the same across the board. So Wave 1, we're getting a really good amount. Same amount as what we got for Evolving Skies. Same thing with Wave 2 and Wave 3. So that means our total is the same. 3-pack blisters is an interesting thing. We're actually getting about half of what we got in Evolving Skies. And then Wave 2, we're getting none. And then Wave 3, we're getting um, the other half that we were missing in wave one. So if you compare it to the entirety of Evolving Skies, we're getting the same amount total, uh, but we're only getting half of them in wave one, and then we're get not getting the other half until January. If it ends up that Pokemon is able to keep up with their production lines and they can provide Wave 2 in December and Wave 3 in January, like what they're communicating. Sleeve boosters, as you can see, these are all pluses here. I have always requested sleeve boosters. I was getting sleeve boosters when we were able to just kind of order product willy-nilly. So a year, two years ago, when we were just able to order product, I would order sleeve boosters, but I wouldn't order them a lot at set releases. Um, I haven't been getting any. I haven't been getting a single case of sleeve boosters for any of these sets. I cannot tell you, uh, I think, oh my goodness, Rebel Clash might have been the last one where I actually got sleeve boosters upon set release. I haven't gotten any since then. So this is the first time that I'm getting some in Wave 1, I'm getting some in Wave 2, and I'm getting some in Wave 3, which gives me a total of a plus. So more product when it comes to sleeve boosters. The other thing that is a huge increase, building battle kits. 250% increase of build and battle kits compared to what we got for Evolving Skies. So there is a ton of build and battle kits that are coming out in Wave 1. Now, for Evolving Skies, there was not a second and third wave of kits or stadiums that was listed. So I'm assuming there is no second and third wave of build and battle kits or build and battle stadiums. I think those are kind of just one wave um, 
one-offs that are just coming out in one wave. I could be wrong about that. Again, this is specific to our storefront. This is specific to our website, but we're getting 250% more building battle kits in wave one than we did for Evolving Skies, and then we're not getting any for waves two and waves three, but I don't think waves two and waves three exist for the kits in the stadiums. Same thing with the stadiums. The exact same amount wave one is what we got for Evolving Skies, and then nothing for wave two or wave three. Again, I don't think that the waves two and three exist. I could be wrong, um, but I don't think that they do, at least not for LGSs, and again, that could be different on retail stores, um, but I'm speaking specifically about uh, LGSs and working with distribution lines. So uh, then we go down here, we can look over the Pokeball tin, which comes out in December. There are rumors out there that there's going to be a Cosmic Eclipse pack in there. I don't know if that's actually going to be accurate. We'll have to see when these actually come out. It would be weird to me uh, for them to put something that came out so long ago. Uh, they just found these extra Cosmic Eclipse packs hitting, hanging out in a warehouse and like, oh, we'll just put one of each of them in the Pokeball tins. It would be cool if they did, um, but don't hold me to that either. Uh, but they're decent. Decent allocations it looks like those come on i believe a sealed display is six and we're getting a good amount of all those so it looks like pokeball tins will be readily available for a lot of people in retail stores if there is a cosmic eclipse pack in those uh they're definitely going to be more in demand unfortunately so the hoopa and dragonite boxes are bad allocations at least specifically for us these are not good at all uh, we're getting a very small amount compared to what we did with the calyrex boxes and what we did with the rapidash boxes the rapidash boxes we got quite a few of the calyrex boxes we got an insane amount of and now the Hoopa and Dragonite box is just uh, not even close. We're only getting, I think, about a third of what we got for the Calyrex boxes, which is interesting to me. So again, they could be really focusing more on those retail stores, especially with these items that come out kind of around that holiday season that uh, more people are going to be looking for at big box stores. So finally, the Eevee box is probably what the, uh, is generating the most excitement from a lot of people because most people want these. Uh, it's okay. There are okay allocations, at least specifically for our store. I know this is kind of a dumb way to do it for you guys because they're like, okay, good, bad, and okay. Well, what does that mean? Uh, Okay, well, it means it's about twice the size of the V Union allocation. So we had the Mewtwo V Unions, the Greninja V Unions, and um, drawing a blank, the Zacian uh, V Union boxes that came out about a month and a half ago. Um, those were, uh, it was pretty small. It was pretty limited. Uh, and then there was supposed to be a Wave 2 that was coming out like now. And it seems like Pokemon is behind on that as well because I've seen a lot of people get uh, emails saying that their orders have been canceled for what I assume would be this second wave. But even with the first two waves of those V Union boxes, uh, this allocation number for the EV boxes is still higher. So it looks like there's going to be at least a decent amount available. I don't think it's going to be super well available or there's going to be a ton of it available, but everybody should at least get a fair shot of being able to get these boxes when they release. And I think that's December 3rd. Uh, and I know it's the beginning of December when those officially come out. So there is your kind of allocation update. It seems like the product is going to be somewhat limited limited for Fusion Strike, but overall not too much different than what we saw with Chilling Rain and Battle Style. So that really goes back to what you think as far as the set goes. And originally, if you would have asked me a couple weeks ago, I would have been like, the set looks okay. It looks okay from a competitive standpoint. There's some cards that look interesting. The Gengar is super cool. I think the Mew looks super cool. But outside of that, kind of gives me that Battle Styles feel. Not quite as good as Chilling Rain. Definitely not as good as Evolving Skies. But then all of a sudden that ETB booklet leaked. And a lot more people started getting a lot more excited when it came to Fusion Strike. And that's why I want to give you this information as early as I possibly can. So that way you can make an educated decision on whether or not you want to go out and buy any booster boxes of this to chase any of these cards while it is available. Knowing that Wave 2 and wave three could very well be delayed just like what we've seen in the past so stop the video now make sure to hit like make sure to comment down below make sure to hit the share button hit the subscribe button and then you can just kind of end it if you don't want to see these etb booklet pictures that were leaked going over these new cards that kind of got dropped for uh, fusion strike and i know a lot of people have already seen that but i kind of want to just put that disclaimer out there for anybody who might be interested okay here we go so we're moving on to sheet two which has an image i don't know exactly all the specifics of how this image got leaked i saw some things about some people got their hands on an etb and they shouldn't have had an etb and they ended up taking pictures of the etb booklet and alas here you go um whether that's true or not, I don't know. But it shows all the cards that are in Fusion Strike. We're only focusing on two pages here because that's got kind of the big things in it. So we've got this Inteleon VMAX right here, alternate art, which looks super cool. Um, very, very excited about that because Inteleon, I'm Sobble Squad, Team Sobble uh, from Sword and Shield. I was a huge, huge Sobble fan. 
kind of disappointed in the final evolutions of Inteleon, but it, it's okay. Uh, Inteleon VMAX, very, very cool. Then we've got next to the Mew VMAX, right here is the card that everybody's kind of been waiting and wondering if this was going to come out. There were rumors that it was going to come out in Fusion Strike, but not a lot of people believed it. And sure enough, there it is, card number 270, the Espeon VMAX alternate art. The card that was left out of Evolving Skies is here and waiting. It's not in the collection box. It's in Fusion Strike. Why? I don't know because the set is already gigantic, uh, but maybe it's to drum up a little bit more uh, attention to Fusion Strike. But here it is, Espeon VMAX alternate art. Looks really, really cool. You guys will have to let me know in the comments section down below what card you're most excited to pull from uh, Fusion Strike. And then we've got the Gengar VMAX alternate art. Obviously, very gorgeous card. Super cool. I'm really excited about this Flaffy over here. I love the Flaffy ability. So the Secret Rare makes it even better. Uh, we've got a Shauna, which is really, really cool. Uh, and Chandelure is one of my favorite Pokemon. So that's why I'm really excited about this set to begin with. If we look over here, you can see a few other things. I think there's like 288 cards in this set. It's the biggest set ever. Uh, you've got a throwback kind of to the old school artwork of Quick Ball, which is really neat here. And then we've also got the Celebi V alternate art, which is kind of drawing a lot of attention as well. This came out as a promo over in Japan. I think it was a promo over in Japan, uh, but regardless, it is making its way to the States in Fusion Strike. Very, very cool. Uh, beautiful looking card. Obviously, a lot of hype is going to be generated from that. There's some other cool cards too. We have the Sandicana V alternate art here. You've got the Gen Genesect V alternate art, uh, as well as the Mew V and the Greedent V. There's a lot of attention from Greedent. Uh, a lot of people very excited about Greedent. I'm not a Greedent guy, but I know a lot of people are part of the Greedent game, and I think that's awesome. So and then we've got uh, Alessa here. There's Alessa Sparkle plus Dancer. A lot of full art trainers, which is kind of unique and cool because we didn't see as many full art trainers in Evolving Skies. So it seems like they're just making way for a lot of cards in this set kind of throwing everything at us along with the kitchen sink which is uh, pretty neat so let me know in the comment section down below what you think what you're most excited about as far as fusion strike goes again i just wanted to put this information in your hands so that way you had it do what you would like with it make your own educated decisions don't rely on uh, anything that you see on youtube as far as what you need to do with your money because it's your money and you should make the best decision that you possibly can for it especially moving into the holiday season money can be tight so uh, definitely make the best decision that you possibly can but there are some really cool looking cards in this set and I hope that Pokemon does continue to at least meet demand for a lot of these products. But with that being said, guys, here again is just one final look at the waves that are coming out as far as allocation numbers for us specifically. I believe this is just my opinion that this should line up fairly uh, consistent with what you would see from a lot of other storefronts. I could be wrong, but I would think that there's probably about 10% less booster boxes that are going to be available uh, at LGSs and online than what they were normally would be. Uh, but as far as the ancillary products, there should be pretty much the same amount and maybe a little bit more when it comes to sleeve boosters and building battle kits, which is a good sign because a lot of times those products tend to get um, marked up the fastest, which is really cool. Uh, so with that, I do want to say thank you so much. Make sure to hit that like button down below, comment, share, because it goes a long way for the algorithm. Uh, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Uh, tell all your friends to subscribe. Tell all your relatives to subscribe. Tell everybody you don't know to subscribe. I think that covers everybody in the world. So if everybody in the world subscribes today, we should hit our goal of like, what, 8 billion? I think that's the goal for by the end of the day. So we'll go for it. You know, might as well set goals. Just make them big, right? Guys, until next time, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Peace.